Hi, it's Katrina. From an escaped rhinoceros crossing a highway to a monstrous snake that snuck out, here are 10 cases of animals on the loose. Number 10. Escaped Rhinoceros The Kansas City Zoo is home to many animals, but some that they are most proud of are their rhinos. They are working hard to keep subspecies of rhinos from going extinct, but in 2018, one of their four eastern black rhinos, Imara, got into a bit of trouble when she escaped her enclosure and nearly went on a homicidal rampage. Upon the rhino's escape, the zoo panicked and issued a warning that all the guests needed to take immediate shelter. Luckily, the rhino didn't actually make it out into any public areas. Still, she got away from the zookeeper, ended up in the staff-only area, and was threatening to burst through the walls. The zoo didn't come out and say exactly how she escaped. The spokesman for the zoo, Josh Hollingsworth, simply said it was pretty rare for something like this to happen. After an initial panic, the rhino was coerced back into her enclosure. Luckily, in this case, no people or animals were hurt. But the alert was code red because these cases are very unpredictable and no one wants anything bad to happen to an endangered species. This is a much better outcome than what happened in 1996 when a rare rhino broke out of its enclosure. The three and a half ton female that had been at a privately owned zoo for only a couple of weeks broke through a welded pipe fence after fighting with a male rhino, said the zoo's curator, Ron Klein. The rhino was seen crossing a highway, and the police were worried she could cause an accident and even kill someone. They surrounded the rhino and chased her back across the highway to the zoo parking lot. They surrounded her again, but this time she felt cornered and charged towards one of the men who ended up shooting her. Number 9. Mauled by a Bear A woman from California was on a camping trip when she had a very grim encounter with a wild grizzly bear. By encounter, I mean the grizzly bear broke into her tent dragged her out of it, and then mauled her to death, turning the camping trip into a horror story. The terrifying incident happened when Leah Loken, 65, from Chico, went on a cycling and camping trip in Montana. It was supposed to be a nice, ordinary trip, full of great views and relaxing nights camping under the stars. Leah was with a small group of friends near the town of Ovando, camped in the wilderness, when the bear attacked. Even after it crashed through her tent and dragged her outside, the other campers tried to fight the rampaging beast off. They screamed and sprayed the animal with bear spray, and it eventually let Leah go. But by then, the damage was already done. The poor woman had been ripped to shreds. According to the Powell County Sheriff's Office, the bear was attracted to their campsite because it smelled food. It had actually been driven off once already, but it came back for revenge. And that was when the devastating attack occurred. Oddly enough, there had been an incident with a grizzly bear in the area three days prior raiding a local chicken coop. Officers believe it was this same bear responsible for the violent assault. As of right now, there has been no word on the whereabouts of the bear. If you're out camping in Montana, you should be aware that there is a huge, hungry, and very angry grizzly on the loose with a taste for revenge. Number 8. Killer Crocodile in East Africa, reports have been coming in of the most terrifying crocodile in human history. According to rumors, this killer croc has killed and eaten at least 300 people and is still believed to be on the loose. The croc goes by the name Gustav, and it's been blamed for hundreds of deaths in the African country of Burundi. The locals say this crocodile weighs over a ton and is roughly 18 feet long. Even the professional crocodile hunters in the area fear him which may be why catching the murdering beast has become such a challenge. Every time the creature is sighted, the death toll shoots up a little more. Even more crazy is the estimated age of this monster reptile. Scientists say he could be anywhere from 60 to 100 years old, meaning he's an ornery old boy. It's no surprise that he seems to get more violent with each passing year. He's been shot at least three times during attempted captures, but bullets can't seem to kill him. No matter how many times he's blasted, he just comes back for more. In 2002, the French hunter Patrice Fay tried to catch the croc. He built a massive trap that failed. Patrice told the BBC that he and his team placed the trap in the Ruzizi River, stuffed it with bait, and spent the whole night watching it. But Gustav wasn't so easily tricked. He also spent the night there, though he didn't go anywhere near the trap, instead keeping his eyes on the hunters. 
Patrice claimed he got a good look at it, saying the crocodile is at least three times bigger than any other in Burundi. In the three months Patrice hunted Gustav, the crocodile devoured no less than 17 people. As of 2021, nobody knows if Gustav is still alive or not, though people continue to be killed by crocodiles in Burundi. Number 7. Rabid Skunk on the Loose A rabid skunk just about killed someone in Meadow Lakes. City officials recently had to remind residents to avoid all animals that are behaving strangely, especially skunks. The warning came after a woman was brutally attacked by a rabid skunk while minding her own business. She was out on a Sunday taking her puppy for a walk when the skunk appeared from nowhere just outside her fenced backyard. In a frenzy, the skunk leapt at the woman, sunk its teeth into her, and tried to bite off her leg. She suffered at least five bites on her leg and ankle and had to take an emergency trip to the hospital. Her dog was okay, but it was a close call. It was especially scary since the skunk was feral. After animal trackers hunted the wild skunk down and euthanized it, they performed a rabies test. The test came back positive, with the Texas Department of Health Services admitting the skunk had rabies. The woman had to get shots inside of her wounds to prevent her from being infected. Rabies can easily be transmitted to humans from animals through the saliva that gets into an infected wound, usually a bite. Believe it or not, this wasn't even the first time someone was attacked by a rabid animal in the area. Just a few months prior, another woman was attacked by a rabies-infested beast. It was a fox, and she also had a close call after the fox tried to gnaw her legs off. Number 6. Burmese Python At a mall in Louisiana, a 12-foot serpent was recently on the loose, threatening to eat pets, swallow children, and maybe even eat an old lady or two. The snake's name is Kara, a yellow Burmese python that managed to escape its enclosure at the Blue Zoo Aquarium inside the Mall of Louisiana, located in Baton Rouge. This wasn't a quick case of escape and capture like the rhino I told you about earlier. The search went on for days, and the danger was so real that the aquarium had to be closed. Burmese pythons are powerful predators and able to eat creatures way larger than themselves. If the snake got hungry and saw an opportunity, like a child alone wandering through the mall, it could easily suffocate them with its powerful muscles and then eat them whole. Luckily, there were no fatalities this time. Kara was eventually discovered hidden inside a wall. Workers had to physically cut a hole in the wall to get the slippery snake out, though they neglected to mention exactly which wall the snake was extracted from. According to the aquarium workers, Kara likely escaped her exhibit by pure force of will, pushing herself through a corner of her tank with raw power. Since the escape, the aquarium has beefed up their security, adding night vision cameras and motion sensors. Next time a highly dangerous serpent gets loose in the mall, hopefully it won't take them days to catch it. Number 5. Camel Running Wild In Collinsville, Oklahoma, a camel was caught running loose through the city on a Monday morning, inciting terror throughout the neighborhoods. The camel was spotted running around willy-nilly, seemingly with no owner and nowhere to go. It was literally just trotting through fields and along the side of the road. The local police had no idea what to do, nor did they know just what kind of dangers the wild camel posed to the public. According to the sheriff's office, it's not that unusual for them to get phone calls about wild animals on the loose. However, a camel was something new. They didn't know how to wrangle it, but luckily they knew where it had come from. The cops reached out to the owner for help getting the camel back home. Apparently, the owner had no idea how the camel escaped. It was living on his property with his other camel friend, waiting to start training so that the camel could appear in educational programs in the area and perform in nativity scenes for the local churches. But it didn't want to be a puppet, and so it tried to run away from home like an angsty teenager. With the help of the owner, the camel was taken home and locked up tight. It didn't even spit on anyone throughout the whole ordeal. Number 4. Nebraska Bat Attack There has been a disaster at the Nebraska Zoo. Officials recently had to tell their guests, a group of about 200 people who had simply wanted to look at some animals in a safe environment, that they should all get rabies shots because they were exposed to filthy, diseased bats. But that's not all. City officials warned the spectators of the Indiana Pacers and Los Angeles Clippers game that they may also have gotten rabies after a bat flew through Banker's Life Fieldhouse. It seems that bats are everywhere these days, and they all have rabies. 
The affair at the Nebraska Zoo happened when a pack of wild bats infiltrated the aquarium and started flapping around near the guests. Approximately 186 people may have contracted rabies after coming into contact with the bats. According to Dr. Sarah Woodhouse, the Director of Animal Health at the Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium in Omaha, it's very common for bats to get rabies in the wild, and very easy for them to pass it along to humans. These bats snuck right into the aquarium and attacked the overnight guests who were having a sleepover experience, ruining their night and causing more trouble as they all had to be tested. Number 3. Lizard Escape A large and potentially dangerous lizard recently escaped from Little Ray's Reptile Zoo in Ontario, Canada. The monitor lizard was reported at being nearly 4 feet in length. The zoo actually took to Facebook to ask the public for their help in tracking the reptile down after it slipped straight through the front door and ran off into the concrete jungle of the city. Even though the zoo claimed the lizard wasn't dangerous, they still said nobody should try to capture the massive animal. It might not attack anyone on purpose, as it would be trying to avoid humans, but it would definitely bite any stranger who tried to pick it up, and seeing as the lizard was basically a miniature Komodo dragon, that would be one nasty bite. This is one of those unfortunate cases in which the animal was never found. The huge lizard ran, hid, and then was gone. The only good news is that it's probably not dead, but living in the city underground somewhere, munching on rats and growing bigger, waiting to take its revenge. Number 2. Pack of Wild Coyotes A woman and her dog recently survived a disastrous encounter with a wild pack of coyotes. It happened in the California neighborhood of Woodland Hills, when a pack of at least 12 coyotes appeared out of nowhere and tried to eat the woman and her pet. According to local resident Michael Siebold, the coyotes have been a problem for years, and recently their numbers have doubled. And while residents have been wary of the coyotes, there were never any attacks. Until now. The coyotes actually showed up to Michael's front gate. It was his wife that became the victim of their violence. They broke the front gate, at which point the family dog took off down the street after them, barking. Michael's wife chased the dog, but when she got to the bottom of the street, there was a whole pack waiting for her. Luckily, one of the neighbors saw what was going on and came to help. Together, they managed to scare the coyotes away, though not before they did some damage to the poor dog. The dog suffered bites and cuts on his back and paws, and all because he'd been protecting the woman from the coyotes. If not for the quick-thinking neighbor, the dog may have been mauled to death, followed by the unsuspecting woman. As for the coyotes, they retreated into the hills and have yet to be seen again. But they're still out there, waiting to eat the neighborhood dogs. Number 1. Giant Cobra One of the most venomous snakes in the entire world was recently pulled out of somebody's house in India after it broke in and threatened to kill everyone inside. I'm talking about the legendary King Cobra, the longest venomous snake on the planet. It's not clear how the horrifying snake got into the house, but it's not that surprising. Things like this happen all the time in India, with countless King Cobra encounters a year. In this case, the residents were lucky. They got a hold of the Forest Department's rapid response team, and an expert snake handler showed up to wrangle the creature. The officer was recorded on video pulling the huge snake out from under a table, absolutely fearless. Once he had the snake in hand, the thing even started wrapping its body around the officer, and the spectators gasped in horror. But this guy was a professional. He took the snake onto the rooftop, stuffed it into a special snake bag, and then took it away to be relocated. He even posted a video later showing him releasing the snake back into its natural habitat. Hopefully the snake doesn't return to the house to seek revenge. Thanks for watching! What's the craziest animal you've ever seen on the loose? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. See you next time! Bye!